Uh, breaking news, the Detroit Lions finally cut Amir Abdullah. Um, also fired special team coach. They bring in Bruce Ellington, but I want to talk about Amir Abdullah, Motor City Sports Talk. Y'all know what the business is, your boy CJ Goodfella. Um, and this this move should be made should have been made um, before training camp in the offseason, to be honest. Um, no later than, you know, the final preseason game or after the preseason game when final roster cut should have been done. We all knew Amir Abdullah didn't have a future here. Um, with Theo Reddick, um, Laguerre Blunt, and Kerryon Johnson, it was no room for him. I know he fumbled on the uh, he fumbled the kick return. Uh, you know, was it last week or versus the uh, Seattle Seahawks? I think it was. Excuse me. Um, and he didn't want to be here no more. You know, he blamed the coaches. We talked about that this off season. He said the coaching here wasn't wasn't they didn't use him right, and he was blaming everything but himself. But he, I mean, he was a bust. Second round pick, definitely was a bust. Um, if you don't know the story, the Lions uh, picked Amir Dula before the Arizona Cardinals did. I think in the third round, the Arizona Cardinals ended up with uh, David Johnson, who, you know, until this year, with the lack of quarterback play was, you know, uh, and last year with the injury, he was one of the best running backs in the league. So, obviously, Amir Abdullah, I didn't another guy that I don't understand. You want to have fast, physical football players in this league, Okay. Amir Abdullah, Theo Reddick, Tease Tabor are not fast football players. They all ran 4'6 or 4'7 in a 40. That's too slow for Amir Abdullah size-wise to be a capable running back in this league. If you that size, you don't have the long speed to break off explosive plays like Javid Best did at his size, you probably ain't going to be that much of a success in, 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 a, run, in, in a league. You're probably going to be a scat back. A third down back. That's it. He don't have enough long speed. Theoretic, a guy that ran a four seven, four six seven, something like that. He don't have long speed to be an NFL caliber running back. People don't understand that. You know, T's Tabor, four six, four seven speed. You can't be a good cornerback unless you excel in technique. You excel with hand placement, jamming people on the line, and your technique is good. And the system got to be right for you not to be marginalized in this league. The Lions need fast. Physical football players, fast. They too, those three players are just too slow to cut it as major contributors in the NFL. Period. And Amir Dude, that's his problem. He don't have any deep speed. He was always hurt. He was too small. He was too small to be that slow. He had a fumbling issue. He wasn't a good football player. I'm just, I'm just keeping it real for this team. He never was. And they gave him chance after chance after chance. This organization believed in his talent. And sometimes you just got to cut your bait and say, he ain't, he ain't a good football player for this team. He don't fit what we're doing. He didn't fit here. He should have been cut a long time ago. But they, they believe, they believe, they believe, and he fumbled one last time. was it two weeks ago. And all of a sudden they want to cut him and then bring in a guy like Bruce Allen. Like, get, out, get out of here. Get out of here. Shut the front door. Now you want to admit that you made some mistakes. Well, you need, why y'all at it? Why y'all clean the house in the middle of the season? Get rid of Jim Bob Cooter. Y'all might as well get ready to get rid of Matthew Stafford because everybody knows your problem. Rich Gannon said it this morning. He overpaid, he overpaid and overrated. I'm glad Rich Gannon said that. Now you want to get rid of Amir Abdullah? It's, it's late. You should just wait till the end of the season and did this. You know? He wanted to leave. He didn't want to be here. You held on to him. And the Lions are notorious for doing that as an organization. Holding on to players that don't want to be here, that ain't going to contribute to the team, or holding players against their will. If they don't want to play for the Lions, move them. If Calvin wanted to be moved, you should have moved Calvin Johnson. You have no right as an organization that's been piss poor over the last 20, 30 years, decades, longer than that, to hold players against their will. The players that want to win because you don't want to spend money to put a complete team around them. You don't want to put a competent general manager in there or a competent organization together to hold these players against their will. Stop it. Stop it, Fords. You know, it's time for you to let the team go because obviously you don't know how to run a team. You and people want to keep going throwing their money at the Lions. Stop spending your money with the Lions. Stop watching the Lions. Sometimes, going down there and watch them because they're wasting our time and they and they not they wasting players' time because they don't want to put a winner out on the field. Martha, Bill, Jill, Jack, Ford, whoever, they don't want to put a winner on the field. They hold they held this man against his his will. They held Barry against his will. They held Calvin against his will. It just it got to stop. They got to put a winner on the field. They should have been let this guy go and go about his business and flake out the league somewhere else. But Motor City Sports Talk, y'all know what the business is, man. One time for the one time. Link article to the description. We gone.